armed men suspected to be robbers invaded the residence of two senior aides to President Muhammad Buhari inside the precinct of the presidential villa. Administration officials and security sources have told people, People's Gazette, raising fears that the rising security across the country was drawing closer to the elite than previously estimated. The incident on May 9th prompted Ibrahim Gambari and Abubakar Mekano, the chief of staff and admin officer, respectively, to abandon their residences, sources said. Their houses were robbed and the robbers packed money and other valuable assets from both houses and aid to the informed about the robbery told the gazettes. It was not immediately clear whether or not valuable documents of state interest were carted away by the intruders, but the gazette heard that the residences were thoroughly ransacked. The robbers took away as much as possible from both places, a security officer that confirmed the incident said. What is more unfortunate is that no one has been arrested. Officials also said Mr. Gambari was given an official residence at the defense house but has not been living there, preferring instead to live inside Asurok and be close to the president. Nigeria's presidential palace just west of the city center has long been seen as highly fortified and as far beyond the reach of burglars, bandits and other criminals currently holding the vast swath of the country to ransom. But as criminal activities overshadow other matters of national consequences, Mr. Buhari has faced calls to act urgently before it would be too late. Armed bandits have abducted thousands of citizens since January alone, claiming billions in ransom payments at an alarming rate. No explanation was immediately rendered for the invasion and why it was not prevented by the ubiquitous contingent of security officers, especially those of the state security service guarding the fortress. Mr. Gambari did not immediately return a request seeking comments. A spokesman for the SSS said he would not comment on the matter and a spokeswoman for the police in Abuja abruptly disconnected the call upon hearing the Gazette's inquiry was about a security breach at the presidential villa. Hmm. Meanwhile, the presidency has confirmed an attack on the residence of Professor Ibrahim Gambari, chief of staff to President Muhammad Buhari inside Asurok. An online platform, People's Gazette, had earlier reported that both Gambari and an administrative officer at the presidency simply identified as Mekano were robbed. According to the report, which has been trending online, armed robbers invaded Asurok and emptied the residences of Gambari and Mekano. Responding in a statement on Monday night, Malam Gaba Shiu, presidential spokesman, said there was an attempt to boggle the residence of the chief of staff. The statement read, the chief of staff, Professor Ibrahim Gambari, has confirmed that there was a foolish attempt to bug to boggle the residence at 3 a.m. this morning, but it turned out to be unsuccessful. Professor Gambari, whose house is on a street next to the villa, has assured that there is nothing to worry about from the incident. Gambari succeeded the late Abakiari, who died in Lagos Hospital while treating coronavirus in April 2020. You can imagine. Shame. These fellows have reduced everything they touched to nothing. They are just disgracing the country in installments. Even the place that should be most secured is porous due to high degree of incompetence brought by myopic clannish leadership. How can I explain it to my kids? How do we explain this sacrilege to the world? I therefore urge the staffs of us in Nassau Rock, including the president, not to take laws into their hands. We assure you that the perpetrators must be brought to book. We are on top of the situation. They should go about their normal business without fear. <laughs> Association of All Nigerian Citizens assured the Nigeria the presidency that we all bring all the perpetrators to book. Armed robbers at the supposed most protected place in Nigeria. <laughs> this is hilarious and at the same time alarming. This Nigeria army and police should please intensify their 
security to avoid being robbed. You can imagine that uh, the DSS did not see this. So this intelligence gathering, you see, you see, you see them trying to, to <laughs> uh, so so unfortunate. Everybody, we pay for the their 2015 sin. Unknown government invade Asso Rock, which means Nigeria is gone. No mind them. That is a lie. They should uh, show the CCD footo footage of the thief. Let them continue deceiving themselves. They are using insecurity to pack money away from Asso Rock. I would have jubilated had it been the president was kidnapped. This looks like a game plan to hand Nigeria over to Islamic fundamental fundamentals. We are coasting nearer home than earlier expected. The Hoisting of Boko Haram flag at the villa we follow, and the police are on top of the situation thereafter. You don't even know the level of security in the place you called Asu Rock. That is why you you don't know what you are saying. Hey, you can imagine all Asu Rock Asu Rock by foot. Nigeria is not gone. Nigeria is here. Don't be afraid. You will soon be. You will see seed wonders. Uh, they will tell us that the armed robbers have taken some essential documents. Watch. For the next news, this is from a blog. Okay, uh, uh, thank God that the bandits are now working professionally. Well, let's see what uh, these people are saying here because these people don't know what they are talking about because the presidency has already confirmed it. This country is seriously in trouble. No, 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 nothing has indeed got out of hand. Okay, things have got after gotten out of hand. Indeed, no place is safe anymore in this country, but our strong tower remains the only one. Of Israel, mighty man in battle. <laughs> you can imagine six statements coming out from presidency. How come? How did they get, get entrance? All of those places because that place is in Asso Rock. What's it concern me? I'm on my way traveling to Togo. When Pastor Defarasi was telling people, they thought he was joking and they were trying to hide it. They couldn't even hide it. Someone who can't even secure Asso Rock, <laughs> you are putting your trust on him. To secure the country's lives and properties, Nigerians wake up. The country is an is on autopilot. Unknown gunmen. Just when I thought I have heard and see enough these past few months with issues of insecurity in the country, then boom, armed robbers attack proof presidential villa. Asu rock. Can you imagine? Those robbers must be spirits. That means no one is safe again. Or unknown gunmen in Asu rock. Hey, now Allah. If the most secured place in the in Nigeria can be attacked and be vandalized by armed robbers, it then means that nobody is safe in this country. Nobody is safe. 